And now news about the ABC companies and Greyhound. A new motor coach can cost more than half a million dollars, but much can be done to refurbish and restore older motor coaches. That's being done at an ABC company facility in Napanee, Indiana that I visited recently. Greyhound Motor Coach 6363 looked tired. The 2000 MCI DL3 model had 1.9 million miles on it. Most on America's highways, interstates, carrying hundreds of thousands of passengers. Since July 2010, Greyhound has sent about 320 motor coaches, one seventh of its fleet here for a complete rebuild. An older Greyhound bus will come into this plant with more than a million miles, and in 46 days, it should be good for another nine or 10 years. Each bus gets a letter grade when it arrives. They always leave with an A. 130 mechanics, cleaners, upholstery experts, and others work at the plant. The process of rebuilding 6363 took about 46 days. 24 buses are refurbished each month. The plant is led by ABC's Senior Vice President Lee Loper, a veteran of the motor coach industry, and plant manager Matt Irvin. They don't send buses that are just had uh, some uh, light refurb at a facility. They send us the toughest ones that they have. Either they don't run or they've had an engine failure and we take them and run them through the system where they come out as a full refurb bus. 6363 was disassembled. The axles, transmission, HVA system, engine, seats, and dozens of other parts removed. The windows were taken out. The floors replaced. The driver's dashboard rebuilt. The entire coach really is disassembled from stem to stern. And if complete interior is taken out, uh, all the drivetrain components are taken off, at least cleaned and gone through. The coach is washed, undercoated, uh, just reconditioned completely and overall, inside and out. And then we assemble it back in the proper fashion. In anticipation of October's Americans with Disabilities Act, all of these coaches are fully compliant with the law. Also, 10 years ago, Wi-Fi didn't exist. It's installed. The electrical systems are updated. Electric plug-ins are added at each seat. There are other improvements as well. At least 565 parts on a bus will be replaced, including a new rebuilt Detroit Diesel Series 60 engine. Workers are remanufacturing and rebuilding the seats, inspecting the seat frames, looking for damage, replacing foam, and making new seat covers. Each bus is different, but rebuilding 6363 costs substantially less than buying a new motor coach. The paint is also removed, any damage to the body is repaired, and it's repainted with Greyhound's new blue and premium silver colors highlighting the new logo. Before leaving the plant, inspectors review all the paperwork detailing and logging the changes that have been made. Only then, when the inspectors give the okay, will the bus be ready to go back on the line. Well, it's really a game changer for Greyhound. We're obviously looking to change our image, but most importantly, we're looking to give our customers a better experience, more positive experience. And for our customers, that takes place in the coach largely. So in order to change their opinion, change their impression, change their perception of Greyhound and give them the right experience, we had to change the coach.